Welcome everyone, this is Franco. And I'm Naven. And the trailer for Doctor Strange came out. And there's like all kinds of excitingness and you know, semi-girlish squeals and shit. Yeah, it's true. Yes. I've been like, Doctor Strange was probably my, I would say my favorite of the offshoot of all the the main characters just because of all the cool shit that he can do. Yes, so absolutely. I was I was really excited to, to hear that they're making a Doctor Strange movie and then that they cast Sherlock, I mean Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. in the whole. That was pretty, I was, I was more than excited. Yeah, and at some point, Sherlock is going to meet the other Sherlock in Iron Man. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. I didn't so think about it. The clashing of the Sherlocks. You're right, you're right. You're right. That's a Civil War part two. The good Sherlock versus, you know, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock. Yeah, or Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. in England with a British accent. Oh, what an uh, accent that was. Yes, it was. Yeah. But without, I didn't hate it. But anyway, moving it, on. It That's what we're getting off the topic here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, without further ado, we have Doctor Strange. Rachel McAdams. You won't save the lives of thousands. What if I told you that reality is one of many? Damn. I wonder what happened there. A building drop on him or something? Mm -hmm. Good lord. The car accident? Or oh, yeah, maybe. Masturbation accident? <laughs> I think people do that differently, I guess. <laughs> you wonder what I see in your future? Possibility. Whoa. Hey, that's her name, Tilda Swinton? Yeah. Hey. Oh, damn. How very Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say she... Morpheus would be proud. She slapped the soul out of him. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah. There are other ways to save lives. Shit. Was that Voldemort? No. No. I have no idea. Oh. Inception. <laughs> Times four or three. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait a that was, was that the kick? Because he came off a chair. I'm just I, wondering. I don't know. Whoa. I like it! Uh oh. Oh, the damn. The cape. The Sanctum that's, Centaurum. That's very like Doctor Strange right there. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> Woo! And that was that the was trailer. Dope. That was pretty dope. For a te it was a teaser, it wasn't a trailer, right? Yeah. It was a teaser, yes. Right, yeah. And that's how Marvel knows how to cut a trailer. Or a teaser. A teaser, yeah. Yeah, they show you just enough to get enticed. They, I mean, they're not going all out as far as showing you all his powers and, you know, all of the magic stuff. They, they let you acclimate to what well, is going I on. I think they know that everyone is excited to see the characters, so they kind of just... They give you, okay, this guy's in it, this guy's in it, mm -hmm. without context, or too much context, so. Yeah, and, and they're, they're not trying to, like, force feed you everything, and, right. uh, Well, it is a teaser, so we don't know what the other trailers are right, going to be like, but based on the history of Marvel trailers, we can... Yes, they, they are, they, they kind of, like I said, acclimate you into, um, the, their whole story, and... Will he, will, will he be in... Civil War? I don't know, but I'm thinking no. Right, because they, because Marvel, do they introduce, they introduce characters in a movie before they put them in a well, group movie, right? Yes, they do. They always done that. And they, they I like them because of the fact that uh, in Winter Soldier, they mentioned him. Uh, they mentioned him as one of the people that are potential targets um, during uh, the whole issue of, um, what the hell was it? With the helicarriers, the Project Insight. Insights targets. What targets? You, a TV anchor in Cairo, the Undersecretary of Defense, a high school valedictorian in Iowa City, Bruce Banner, Stephen Strange, anyone who's a threat. Okay. Yeah, so he was uh, one of the many right, targets, yeah, yeah. and Bruce Banner was also on that list, and um, it was a whole bunch of people. But um, I like that, you know, again, dropping seeds until, you know, 
the people are ready or getting, they're ready yeah. to properly set up the character. I just like that they get, and again, I, I you said it's, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but like, yeah, I like that each character gets a movie that introduces them before they're chucked into like a big group scene. Like for like like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman in the Batman versus Superman movie. Mm-hmm. If you have no idea who Wonder Woman is, you would literally have no idea. Like, who is this? Why did she show up out of nowhere? What is she doing? Like, who is this person? Like, why is she there? You have no idea who she is. She's just there, and she mm-hmm. comes out of nowhere and helps them fight a, a monster, and you don't know why. To be fair, uh, they're doing something similar with Black Panther. But from the look of the trailer for Civil War, they give you just enough to justify his appearance there. But at so, least they've mentioned Black Panther in the past with like Wakanda. Yeah, and, they have. And... So that like they've built up that the, like even just a little bit. So you're not like, oh, whoa, well, what's Wakanda or what's this or what's that? Like, right. in, in Ultron, they've Age of Ultron, they've already mentioned Wakanda, and now they're saying, well, here's a person from that country, and it just so happens to be a representative of that country. From what I can gather from the trailer, it's at the UN and there's an attack on UN, which gives them the justification to join the fight in Civil War. Sure. So, and, and even though this is his first appearance in a Marvel movie, there's enough justification for him to be there. True. But let's, I mean, getting back to, to Doctor Strange, because we, yeah. like, we like our tangents here. Yes. Um, it's pretty, pretty sick. Um, if you've seen some of the stills and whatnot, I'm sure we'll pop one up here too. Yeah. But if you've seen some of the stills, like they went full Doctor Strange with Benedict Cumberbatch. Like he right. looks like the comic book panel. There's exactly. no like extrapolating from movies and making trying to make him look more realistic in what he would wear today. He's like right. legit. Yeah. Doctor Strange, straight out of the comic. So yeah. I was I was really happy uh, to see yeah. that. Yeah. So was I. So was I. And I like that the fact that they're not taking chances. I, I probably mentioned this before in one of our other videos, but um, they're taking the chances of moving past just science and getting to like the whole mystical or, or magic type deal oh, and the whole multiverse thing where uh, the different versions of New York, I believe that was. Um, oh, okay. So, like, because Doctor Strange is supposed to be the guardian of like this, of the realms, of yeah. the realms. Well, not the not the realms. That's Thor's drama. The, but yeah, but yeah, different realities. Exactly, is what the we dimensions. Want to say. There you go. Yes. So I I know I forgot what his name is. He was in Firefly, uh, not Firefly. Um, Serenity. He was the baddie in Serenity. Isn't that uh, uh, I can't. She the way edge of four. Yes, that sounds. Ninety percent. So, I mean, it, I apologize. The syllables or uh, the, the cell drive, It but, starts with uh, a C. Yeah. And ends with a four. Right. Yeah. So him. Yeah. Um. He's supposed to be Baron Mordor. Mor- uh, Mordor. Mordor. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, God, so, so does that? Okay. All yeah. Right. So nice. um, he's supposed to be a bad guy, but from everything that I've seen, uh, he's uh. They look like they're paddling around in the trailer. yeah. They're they're biffles. So. But yeah. So then. Uh, I guess that's for those of us that read the Doctor Strange comic to know, and for the movie to explain to everyone else. Yes, please. But uh, the good I, thing about I, it I, is that like all of their secondary characters that they explain. Um, or they bring out uh, movies or TV shows about, mm-hmm. for, like Jessica Jones, for example. A lot of people, including me, I didn't know a lot about Jessica Jones before mm-hmm. the the miniseries came out um, on Netflix, and they do a really good job of explaining the character's story and where they come from. So I'm assuming, um, like with all Marvel origin stories of late, that they're really gonna to take that time and 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 get the the story right. not just right but like make sure that it's you know like with all marvel movies sort of really true to the comics so right and not only that but it you know it gives a good explanation to people who just aren't into comics it's it's a good story and it's a character driven story that just so happens to be in a superhero world. Sure. Like, if you hadn't seen any other Marvel movie and just seen, or uh, any Marvel show or anything Marvel related and just saw Jessica Jones, it would still be a good show on its own. That's true, yeah. And, and same thing with Daredevil and, and pretty much everything. It, it, it's, it's they're, they're very good at storytelling. It's not about, you know, the Flash all the time. <laughs> no pun intended, uh, but uh, um, it's not about like the special effects and everything. I mean, the special effects are a cherry on the top of a good story, 
or, or a good Sunday, as it were. Right. But yeah. I mean, and I, I like that. Um, it doesn't it doesn't look like a dark movie as well because they could have gone. Mm-hmm. Um, it does look more and serious. Done, like, kinda, it does look serious. It just doesn't look dark. Like, right. Like in the DC universe, you know, everything happens in the nighttime or when it's super overcast or rainy. But, See, how is Superman supposed to have powers from the yellow sun when the sun is never out? I don't, I can't, I can't answer these questions. I don't make the movies. Zack Snyder! <laughs> but, but if you look at, at this movie specifically, like, it looks, there's a lot of stuff that's set in, like, a daytime, and it's, it's, it doesn't look like a, a, a really hardcore, like, I hate my life kind of movie. He so. does kind of hate his life because he can't masturbate. Well, I mean, anymore. if you you crush someone's hands or whatever happens to his hands, I yeah. mean, I would be a little upset too. Yeah. So. yeah. So. All right. So based on the trailer, are you going to go see the Doctor Strange? Well, obviously I, you are. Well, yeah. I mean, if the tickets were available now. <laughs> Fanboy's going to fanboy. But yes. yes I mean, but absolutely. based on the trailer, will you see Doctor Strange? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, just because the the topics look very like the, the way it's set up and like the whole somewhat inception E times 3 uh, thing looks and the visuals. I heard that the 3D was going to be, like, amazeable. It's like, you, it's one of those movies that you have to see in 3D. I mean, we all know how I feel about 3D, yes. so okay, yeah. whatever. But um, you saw the whole kaleidoscope type deal going? I mean, I saw it, but, like, is that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of those, like... 3D tricks that you're gonna like throw a ball at my face or something like yeah, it, but it is no, what it but, is. But remember what I told you about the whole thing with uh, Avatar. With Avatar, right? Yeah, it's gonna be that depth. I, right, I don't. The, the depth is fine to me. I I don't. It, yeah. I don't need it. Yeah. I based on the trailer. Uh, I think I'm gonna watch it as well. Obviously, you know my fandom withstanding. Marvel makes really good movies. And the visuals and, the, and like, special effects look really mm-hmm. cool. And I kind of know some of the story of Doctor Strange already. So I'm really curious to see what Benedict Cumberbatch does, you know, as a Sorcerer Supreme. And and just to see wh- what Marvel does with the, the movie. Yeah, and, you know, knowing Marvel's track record, it's pretty much a safe bet. I don't want to say it's, a, you know, exact because it wouldn't be a bet if it were. But uh, it's a safe bet. And so. he should, I mean, he has a, well, no, I can't say that because that's a spoiler. But never mind. Um, all right, cool. Yep. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, and to see um, what you thought about it. And um, that is pretty much it for this week or for right now. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like and subscribe. And on that note, we're out of here.